10 Miss Ohio Scholarship Pageant, featuring your 26 state representatives from the Buckeye State. Co-hosted by Miss Ohio 2004 Amanda Beagle, Miss Ohio 2006 Melanie Murphy Miller, Miss Ohio 2007 Roberta Camp Albert, and your Miss Ohio 2009 Erica Gellows. Now sit back and enjoy this year's show theme, Mosaic. What's with this rehearsal stuff all the time? Team. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down, pipe down. Thank you very much. I've got some really good news for you guys. You did such a wonderful job your first trip on the stage at Miss Ohio. You've been invited back to do Saturday Night Show. Congratulations, it's wonderful. I'm very, very proud of you. Are you ready for this? Maestro?
Let's welcome your Miss Ohio 2010 contestant. A junior at Overland College from Bloomfield, Connecticut, your Miss Huron County, I am Elizabeth Wong. A sophomore at Ohio University from Worcester, Ohio, I am Miss North Coast, Sarah Hyder. I am Heather Waterman, Miss Clayland from Salina, and I'm a graduate of Wright State University. I'll be a sophomore at Otterbein College from Defiance, Ohio. I am Alyssa Waldman, your Miss Northwestern Ohio. A recent graduate of the Ohio State University from Wheelersburg, I am Miss North Central Ohio, Amber Bussa. From Cleveland, Ohio, a senior at Kent State University, I am Miss Cuyahoga County, Maggie Whitman. Wonderful 
evening. It's so amazing to be able to host this program, one of the best state programs in the Miss America system. Tonight will be the beginning of an outstanding year for one of our local representatives. One lucky lady will be named Miss Ohio 2010. She will have the opportunity of competing for the title of Miss America 2011. So exciting. And actually this weekend, 19 state title holders will be crowned. 19 girls across this country, their dreams are going to come true. And one young lady tonight, her dream is going to come true. How do you feel, Erica? It's so surreal to be standing here tonight. I was watching them do their opening number, and I almost feel like I should be out here with them. But I'm excited. I'm excited for whoever's going to be blessed with this journey. We're ready. That's right. <laughs> we are ready to find out who the top 10 contestants who will be moving on one step closer to capturing the title of Miss Ohio 2010. At this time, we would like to announce that the 16 non-semifinalists will each receive a $250 scholarship sponsored by the Miss Ohio Scholarship Program. That's right. Also, the Waterford Retirement Community, Diamond and Network Polymers, Key Bank, One Lincoln Park community, uh, Retirement Community, Salon Vivace, Sean and Kim Canary, and Weed Pro. Let's go ahead and give them another round of applause. Also, the local programs whose contestant make it into the top 10 will each receive a $250 grassroots scholarship sponsored by the Ohio Elks Association. Okay, may I have the envelope please?
and our representative to Miss America 2011. Let's meet our panel of judges for Miss Ohio 2010. Welcome Donald Anderson. The Donald retired in 2003 after a 37 year career with the Union Leader Corporation of New Hampshire, the state's largest newspaper. His final 14 were as promotions director. During this time, his responsibilities including being the executive director of the Miss New Hampshire Scholarship Program. Sponsored by the newspaper for more than 55 years, the pageant scholarships went from $7,500 to more than $75,000. Next is Katie Whittem. Katie is an Emmy-nominated sports reporter from Columbus, Ohio. Since diving into the broadcast industry in 2005, Katie has been a freelance reporter, anchor, sideline analyst, and color commentator working in live games as well as the studio. She currently works for the Big Ten Network, Fox Soccer Channel, Sports Time Ohio, and the Ohio News Network. We'd like to welcome Robert Arnhem. Robert was recently recognized on the Miss America stage for 50 years of service to the Miss America pageant at the local, state, and national level. He has served as the president and CEO of the Miss California organization since 1985. He served for 25 years on the board of the National Association of Miss America State Pageants. Please welcome Ann Harmon. Ann has been involved in the Miss America program for over 19 years as the local director of the Miss Holiday in Dixie and Miss Bossier City Scholarship Pageants. She was on the founding board of the Miss Louisiana Teen America Pageant and served in many capacities such as the booking manager, webmaster, and traveling companion. She is the newly elected executive director of the Miss Teen Princess Louisiana Pageant. Next, we have Rodney Williams. Rodney is a master educator, choreographer, composer, gospel recording artist, motivational speaker, and dancer. Since 1992, Rodney has served as the artist in residence at Longwood University, where he directs the Longwood Company of Dancers and instructs students in the art of dance and choreography. Leah Mack Compton. Leah is a classical soprano and board certified music therapist who specializes in work with hospice and geriatric patients. She's an author and inspirational speaker. Leah served as Miss Ohio 1994-95 and was named the top 10 finalist in the Miss America pageant. Our judges chairperson is Kay Hall and our auditors are Mike Arter, Susan Harry, and Linda Yoha. Oh, no. 
the time of my life. No, I never felt this way before. Yes, I swear it's not true. And I owe it all to you, cause I, I had the time of my life. No, I never felt this way before. Oh, oh, oh. I've been meaning to tell you I got this feeling that won't subside I look at you and I fantasize You're mine tonight Now I've got you in my side
So we take each other's hands, but we seem to understand the urge of Just remember. is worth 20% of the contestant score. Escorting our ladies tonight are representatives of the 179th Airlift Wing of Mansfield. Please welcome Becky Minger.
in my head That's like only here to stay That strips my conscience bare It's witchcraft And I've got no defense for it The heat is too intense for it What good would common sense for it do? You know, honey, I think it's witchcraft Yes, sir Wicked witchcraft And although I know it's strictly taboo Says yes, indeed, in me. Proceed with what you're leading me to. It's such an ancient pitch, but one I would switch. Cause there's no passing which can you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome some of our former Miss Ohio's and our non-semifinalists. Oh, yeah. Someday, when I'm awfully low and the world is cold, I will feel the glow just thinking of you and the way you look tonight. I love you. Yes, you're lovely with your smile so long and your cheeks so soft. There is nothing left for me but to love you and the way you look to die. Touches my foolish heart. Yes, you're lovely. Don't you ever change? Keep that breath of charm. Won't you please arrange it? Cause I love you. Dress the way you look tonight. Okay, lovely. Uh, what beautiful work day. How about a hand for those non semifinals one more time, folks? <laughs> All right, let's pick this up, man. You ready? You go, boy. And that laugh that wrinkles your nose touches my foolish heart. The goal to perform on this very stage has been the drive for all of our representatives. This stage 
has been the stage that many young women in this program have used to kind of jumpstart their careers. And one of these young women that you've just seen is going to be our new Miss Ohio. So before we begin the talent portion, our judges are going to be looking for interpretive ability, technical skills, stage presence, and the overall presentation. I'd also like to mention that if we should experience any sort of te technical difficulties during a contestant's performance, she will in no way be penalized. Let's welcome our very first contestant. Popularized by Barbara Streisand, I'll be performing Kiss Me in the Rain. I'm Becky Minger, Miss All-American City. I remember sitting on the front step, feeling the softness of a warm summer rain. Vision. from our various sponsors. And during the talent portion of the competition, I'm gonna be telling you about some of these gifts. But without any further ado, let's get back to the stage for more talent competition. Performing Journey to the Past from the movie Anastasia, I am Ellen Bryan, Miss Miami Valley. which is sponsored by the Mary Jo Anthony Fund, and from Cutting It Close Hair Salon in Tara Burt Pile, a monthly haircut. Let's get back to the stage for more talent. Performing Being Alive from the Tony Award-winning Stephen Sondheim musical company, I am Nancy Ann Strohsnyder, Miss Greater Butler County.
The New Miss Ohio will receive $350 worth of musical arranging from Jeff Michaels. He's down here up front. Let's give him a round of applause. Jeff is awesome. He's done all our music this week. And of course, Miss Ohio will also get a photo shoot from Christine. I'm gonna pay attention to my cards here. <laughs> from Christine Walsh Newton. So that's really exciting. Let's go back to the stage for more talent. Tap dancing to big time. I am Miss Central Ohio, Katie Camp. receive a beautiful ring from Pew Jewelers and her official sash from the sash company. Now back to more talent. Hi, I'm Tara Coleman, Miss Heart of Ohio. Tonight I am singing Hallelujah, composed by Leonard Cohen, the Alexandra Burke version. and company will give the new Miss Ohio a set of luggage and she will also receive 20% off of her dry cleaning from Swan Cleaners. Now back to the stage for more talent. Portraying a young lady who is begging her father to accept her fiance in Puccini's dramatic opera aria, O Mio Babino Caro, I am Miss Maple City, Marisa Buckheit.
have more gifts. Miss Ohio 2010 will receive a gift certificate from Teresa Ann's and many other gift certificates from different clothers. Now let's go back to the stage for more talent. Right, yeah. Singing Far Away by Golderton Heisler. I am Miss Cuyahoga County, Maggie Whitman. Salon Vivace. Maybe my new Miss Ohio sister will share one of those massage certificates with me because I'd really like one. And 10,000 autograph cards from Express Graphics. Back to talent. Tonight I'll be performing Roxy from my favorite Broadway musical, Chicago. I am Miss North Central Ohio, Amber Bussa. jewelry from Duncan Jewelers. Back to the stage. I am Miss Buckeye State, Whitney Fricky, performing Suddenly Seymour, a musical theater style vocal from the show Little Shop of Horrors. Nobody ever treated me kindly. Daddy left early, mom was poor. I'd meet a man and I'd follow him blindly. He'd snap his fingers, me I'd say, Sean, but suddenly see more is standing beside me. He don't give me orders, he don't Whoa! 
you, but I'm going to give the moth a 10. Just saying. <laughs> And the new Miss Ohio 2010 will receive a one-year membership from the Mansfield Area Y and the use of a video camera for a year from Jim and Drina McCurdy. Let's give these sponsors a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And now, back to talent. I will be singing As If We Never Said Goodbye from Sunset Boulevard. I'm Shannon O'Neill, Miss Lima Square Fair. I don't know why I'm frightened I know my way around here The cardboard trees, the painted seats, the sound here Yes, everything's as if we'd never said goodbye this evening. And I would like to welcome to the stage now Cheyenne Hollings and Alex Love.
contestants. The swimsuit portion of the competition is worth 20% of the contestant's score. Each contestant has selected her own music, which gives you, the audience, insight into each individual personality. Plus, you will also hear an interesting fact about each contestant. Growing up at the pool as a competitive swimmer for 13 years, a water polo player, and synchronized swimmer, my swimsuit has always felt like my second skin. I'm Becky Minger, Miss All-American City. I start every day with a cup of coffee and NBC's Today Show. And just when I thought the show couldn't get any better, Rascal Flats perform summer nights during their summer concert series. I am Ellen Bryan, Miss Miami Valley. I am a total gleek. If you jump in my Jeep, I'm usually jamming to my Glee soundtracks or Journey's Greatest Hits. I'm Nancy Ann Stro Snyder, Miss Greater Butler County. Swimsuits in summertime are two of my favorite things. That's why I chose Kenny Chesney's Summertime. I'm Miss Central Ohio, Katie Camp. Anyone that knows my dad or I knows that the Coleman's are all about a strong work ethic. This song expresses my personality down to the T of my name. All about motivation, working hard, and achieving your goals. I'm Tara Coleman, Miss Heart of Ohio. With an adventurous spirit and a passion for meeting new people and experiencing different cultures, I've recently had the opportunity to visit Austria, Germany, Italy, and Thailand. I am your 2010 Miss Maple City, Marisa Buckwright. concert I ever attended was Shania Twain, and I was even able to meet her. Walking to her classic and feeling like a woman, I am Miss Cuyahoga County, Maggie Whitman. I was voted most likely to become famous, and being on the Miss Ohio stage always makes me feel like a celebrity. I am Miss North Central Ohio, Amber Bussa. <laughs> Pat 
Benatar gets me all fired up, live my dream, and perform as a strong female rocker. Even if it's only in the shower. I am Miss Buckeye State, Whitney Frigge. Starstruck by Lady Gaga reminds me of what amazing experiences I had out in Las Vegas with my family during Miss America Week. I am Shannon O'Neill, Miss Lima Square Fair. I'm so grateful to have been able to share this stage with this amazing young woman 
and grateful to have gotten to know her over the passing three years. She has represented this program with grace and dignity and drive and compassion. And I can't believe that she is joining the Formers Club this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming for her final farewell, Miss Ohio 2009, Erica Gelhaas. It's that time of year again where Miss Ohio says farewell. There has been so many people who have made this year special to me. I would say all their names, but if that was the case, we'd be here an extra hour. So instead, with some help, I put together a little video. The photos you will see are only a glimpse into the amazing year the next Miss Ohio will have. In the photos, you will see students from the schools I visited, my dream coming true performing with a symphony, pictures with Marvin Hamlish, Rascal Flatts, Thad Mata, the governor, my state representative, but most importantly, you will see the photos of the family and friends who have supported and guided me throughout this year. It is these people who have made my year as Miss Ohio so rich and so full. Thank you. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Being from a small town like this and being as a homie, I mean, what is that? Is heavy, heavy. I've been very, I've been very blessed to come from this community because they're so supportive. When I was out in Las Vegas, over 140 people came to watch wow. me. And just that support and feeling that love, and I had two shoeboxes full of cards when I came back from Vegas. Yeah. That's been, it's meant the world to me, because as I travel across the state, I know that they're always here, lifting yeah. me up. Now, after high school, my high school guidance counselor told me about the Miss America Scholarship Program. Mm -hmm. So I did my first pageant and ended up falling in love with everyone I was meeting, the program, the opportunity that it offered to me, so that way I decided to take off um, and continue to, to do this journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, but at the same time you're going, you're going to school, right? You got your undergrad, yes. correct? Yes, yes, got my undergrad at Otterbein College. I have one year left. I will attend Otterbein College this fall and graduate as a senior. And um, I'm also studying abroad in Italy. Uh, what, is, what does something like this mean to, mean to to girls like your sister's age and, and younger girls. I mean, when they see you, I mean, they go, wow, this is... One of my favorite parts about being Miss Ohio is when I do school appearances or I see younger children, their faces light up. And the little girls always wave to me and some of them, their mouths just open and they're gaping like, that's Miss Ohio. And they see me as someone who their dream came true. And so they believe in themselves and that their dreams can come true as well. If there was one thing you had to say to those little girls, uh, what, would you say, what would you say to them? Always believe in yourself. Okay. That's it. Just always believe in yourself and what you want to accomplish.
This is our life. These are our days. This is us trying to find our way. This is the love. This is the dream. This is us learning how to be who we are, who we are, cause this is our been absolutely an amazing blessing and watching that video earlier today I cried watching it again this evening I have so much joy that fills my heart I want to thank my aunt Jane for putting together the video and my aunt Cami for picking out the music it's absolutely perfect all of my aunts that are in the audience tonight along with all of my family and friends who are watching via webcast I love you all uh, next, I need to thank my past directors, Jeff, Melissa Hoying, I have to add you in there, Jeff, because you're my loudest person in the crowd, Jerry Deitch, Randy Schroeder, who's backstage, along with Amy Brunswick Shaw, and Martha Campbell. Without all of your dedication, I would not be standing on the stage today, and I thank you. Next is Mary Jean, my chaperone for the past four years. She has been with this program over 35 years and is absolutely an amazing person with one of the biggest hearts. She even feeds raccoons. <laughs> I want to thank all the rest of the chaperones for all of their help. 
and Gregory Ellenberg for this amazing gown that I am wearing. He designed this dress along with the green dress you saw on Wednesday night and the entire wardrobe that you have seen on the stage he helped organize for my trip out to Miss America. He's become a dear friend and I thank him from the bottom of my heart. Next, I need to thank my friends who are somewhere out there. <laughs> Way back there, thank you so much. They made the trip out to Vegas cheering me on and you saw the t-shirts they had made. I was completely surprised and they are some of the best friends anyone could ever ask for. And I'm so excited to spend the summer with you and watch some of you get married. And you have just been amazing, simply said. Thank you. And last but not least, my family. I have been blessed to have an amazing supportive family. My parents have supported me throughout all of my life, through all of my goals, coming from St. Henry High School, a huge, how do I put this, a huge athletic town. We're known for our athletes. And I decided to grow up and become an opera singer. <laughs> but mom and dad said, sure. <laughs> and they've been supporting me, and I love you both so much. Samantha, will you come up here? I just want you to grab these flowers for mom and dad. She was on the stage with me last night. Thank you. And thank you, Mom and Dad. Will you stand up? I love you. They have traveled. They have traveled thousands of miles with me this year. They've been almost just as busy as I have. My mom is the mother of six children, and I am her oldest. So being the mother of Miss Ohio along the mother with five younger than me, she's been so busy, and my dad as well, and I just can't thank them enough from the bottom of my heart. I'm very blessed with my family. Um, the next group of people that I need to thank, if Grace and Ellie can come out here, are the Herring Houses, John and Terry. They welcomed me into their home four years ago as a contestant for Miss Ohio. And every year since, they welcomed me back. If you want to go ahead and bring that down the stairs to Grandmom and Granddad. Down that, that way would be easier. Right there. <laughs> uh, they welcomed me into their home each and every year. And as Miss Ohio, I was living at Primrose, and they gave me a new apartment in Finley, Ohio. But I was attending Dale Carnegie classes in Cleveland, volunteering in Columbus, and Mansfield, this is where the Miss Ohio family lives. And I loved being able to travel throughout the community and see familiar faces and say hello. And so I didn't want to leave. And John and Terry welcomed me into their home and I've been living with them this past year and they truly are my second family. And I love them and they're second parents to me. And they mean so much. The biggest hearts. Between the wonderful family I grew up with the family that I have adopted this year and will forever hold in my heart, I have been blessed with knowing unconditional love. And I hope that everyone in this audience gives unconditional love to your family, to your friends, because it's amazing what it can do. And I've seen it this year as I travel as Miss Ohio, when you meet new people, when you begin to trust your heart with other people and you begin to love each other, so much in the world can be solved. And I'm not gonna say world peace. <laughs> But I just want to thank God for this wonderful year. And one of my signature pieces that I've been singing as I travel throughout the state has been God Bless America. And I've done many appearances for the veterans and at our VA hospitals. And they are some of the most touching appearances I have ever had because of the veterans and those who have served our country. They are some of the most selfless people I've ever met, and I want to thank them. And tonight, I want to dedicate God Bless America to all the veterans who are here in the audience and all of them who are watching this show. And at this time, thank you. And at this time, if I could have the 179th Airlift Wing come join me on stage for the performance of God Bless America. And if you'll take my note card. Thank you, John.
beautiful Miss Ohio we have, don't you think? She is great, and the love in her heart just shines through, and we, all of us formers have already talked. We're gonna be there to hug her right after she crowns the new Miss Ohio. We're gonna welcome her into the sisterhood, aren't we, Leah? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage your top 10 finalists. Non-final. 
finalists will receive a $400 scholarship sponsored by Gretchen Heacock and the family of Mary Jo Anthony Van Meter. And I think we're ready. Okay, ladies, here we go. Our top five finalists in no specific order are contestant number 12, Shannon O'Neill. Our next finalist, contestant number eight, Nancy Ann Strohsnyder. Hear it for our next finalist, contestant number 18, Becky Minger. <laughs> Only two to go, contestant number 22, Ellen Bryant. Number 15, Marisa Bakait. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, our top five finalists. Now, as each of our finalists prepares for the onstage question portion of our competition, Please draw your attention to a, a video about the Children's Miracle Network. Hearts become 
such a wonderful organization and we're so proud to be a part of that. Ladies, how you doing? Great, are you excited? I'm excited, are you excited? Okay, Becky is first. Becky, what are the most important factors of developing a healthy self-esteem? I think the most important factors are discovering a healthy self-image, respect for yourself and others, setting goals for yourself, and recognizing that there is a support system around you. And those are the four points in my program, Discovering You. <laughs> Becky, your second question. Everyone is aware of the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. What else should BP be responsible for in addition to the cleanup? I think BP should be held responsible, and I believe this is happening now. They're starting a fund to help um, monetarily the folks that have um, lost their jobs or whose livelihoods are being affected by the oil spill. I think they do need to be held responsible for it, but I think it also needs to be a team effort to get it cleaned up. Thank you, Becky. Hi, Ellen. Hi. Your first question. What more could be done nationally to promote lightning awareness? Lightning is something that everyone is affected by. We've all seen a thunderstorm. We've all seen a lightning strike. 25 million lightning strikes a year. So something we can do is make everyone aware of it, whether they are a young child or whether they're really old. Um, everyone is in danger of lightning, so it's something we need to make sure everyone is aware of. Thank you, Alan. Your second question. As new technology is constantly being introduced into healthcare, costs are rising rapidly. How can our country continue to provide first class healthcare without going bankrupt? I think we've taken a really big step in improving this just by passing the health care bill, but also making sure that the people don't get so sick that they have to go to the emergency rooms just to get treated, by making sure we have that first step in place that they have the insurance to cover them so we don't have to go to the extreme measures that we all have to end up paying for. Thank you. Second, ladies. That's okay. <laughs> okay, Nancy Ann. <laughs> With the fine arts being eliminated from some schools, how will this affect those students? Well, Amanda, I don't know if you know this or not, but when a child picks up a pen to paint or an instrument to play, they're actually using every single part of their brain and they're exercising that. And if we can make that stronger, we can encourage these children to stay active, whether it be out of school as an extracurricular or maybe through the Boys and Girls Club, we can help them improve their grades. Thank you. Your next question. What are the boundaries of responsible journalism relative to intruding on the private lives of our politicians? First of all, we need to make sure that we're respectful of a, a distance and making sure that we are being honest as journalists and covering all the necessary facts and educating uh, the viewers and the listeners and delivering true facts so that they, they can make a conscious, firm decision for themselves. Thank you, Nancy. Hi, Marisa. Hello, Amanda. Your first question. What is the process of accomplishing your platform, dream, believe, and achieve? The process of accomplishing my platform is first by meeting with students, with young students who have so much potential. And what they really need to do is to first realize their realistic dreams. And once they have those in place, they really need to find the confidence to believe in themselves. And once they've done that, they can go forward with confidence that they can make it in life. Thank you. Your second question. The recently passed law in Arizona targeting the illegal alien issue has received significant national attention. 
If this is a national issue, should states have the right to make their own laws? I do believe in states' rights, and I think that they should have the right to make their own laws. However, I think that as a country, we need to work together and ensure that the process to actually gain citizenship into our country isn't as difficult as it currently is. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Shannon. Hello, Amanda. Your first question. What are the benefits of students being involved with Tone? There are so many benefits to being involved with my platform because the obesity epidemic is not only a nationwide crisis, but a worldwide crisis as well. And our youth are not going to outlive their parents' generation if they continue these, this unhealthy lifestyle. So it's so important that we instill healthy habits in our youth now. And your second question. Internet social networking continues to rapidly expand. What are some of the negative aspects of online culture? I think that there is a tendency for young people today to just reveal everything about themselves. And that is not only a privacy issue, but it's also causing a lot of people to not get jobs that they're looking for as well because they're posting inappropriate material. And so I think it is very important that we as role models, um, and as Miss Ohio, I would advocate for just being true to yourself and being respectful of yourself. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, everyone. You did such a great job. Didn't they do a great job? just visit us back, visited us backstage and presented us with a check from the celebrity waitressing that our contestants uh, took part in earlier this week. And we would just like to give Applebee's as well as Jeff a round of applause. So would you join me? Tonight we have a very special performance dedicated to some very special people in the audience, the parents of our contestants. Parents, you are the backbone and the strength of these young women. Two sets of mothers and daughters take the stage in this heartfelt performance.
number. At this time we have some wonderful news as many of you heard last night Miss America is celebrating its 90th year this year. Yes, round of applause, but we are very excited to tell you that Miss America will be back on network television. The pageant will be broadcast live on ABC on Saturday, January 15th, 2011. So it's very exciting. And speaking of Miss America, we have been fortunate enough to have Mark Angeli from the Miss America organization with us all week, and he is actually backstage right now. So please help me welcome him one more time to the Miss Ohio pageant in giving him a round of applause. So thank you so much, Mark, for being here. here he is. And I now have Another great, great honor to introduce one of my Miss Ohio sisters. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Miss Ohio 2004, Amanda Beagle.
spirit of man calling Uh, to the next Miss Ohio, 
Love every minute. Keep a journal because you won't remember it all. I've filled three during my year, and I'm excited to be able to go back and read through them and just enjoy it. It's a blessing. Well, that's great. That's great advice. Do you have any advice? No, because I'm focusing on this teleprompter right here. <laughs> that's your job now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin with our wonderful awards, we would be remiss without mentioning again the Miss Ohio, Miss America national platform of the Children's Miracle Network. And Erica is going to tell us a little bit more about that. The Children's Miracle Network is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to saving and improving the lives of children by raising funds for children's hospitals. Tonight when you leave, we would like you to remember those children. Some of our entertainers will be in the lobby with CMN buckets collecting donations. And remember that every little bit helps. That's right, that's right. And we will present some very special awards before the big announcement of Miss Ohio 2010. So I'd like to ask for the cards at this time. Okay, we're going to begin with the Paul Herlihy Spirit Award in the amount of $500. One will be given to a new contestant and another will be given to a returning contestant. These awards are made possible due to the Paul Herlihy Memorial Fund. The awards go to a new contestant, contestant number 26, Devin Stansberry. <laughs> and our returning contestant, contestant number 18, Becky Minger. would like to announce the three non-semi-finalist talent awards in the amount of $250 each, sponsored by former Miss Ohio's Jacqueline Mayer, Diane Courtright McCloy, Tana Carley, Demino. Could you back that up just one second, please? <laughs> That's a tough name. Tana Carly Domino, Tiffany Bauman, and Janelle Kautz. Thank you so much to those ladies. These, yes, you can applaud for them. <laughs> and these three awards go to contestant number four, Alyssa Waldman. The second goes to Contestant number 14, Kayla Hellworth. And our third to contestant number 20, Heather Wells. The next award is the non semifinalist Classical Talent Award in the amount of $250, sponsored by Stephen Holly Bradley. That award goes to contestant number 14, Kayla Helbert. We will now award the Betty Estep Memorial Award for Outstanding Classical Performance in the amount of $500, sponsored by Jim Estep. This award goes to contestant number 15, Marisa Buckheit. The Marvin Hamlish Grand Talent Award in the amount of $500 sponsored by Marvin Hamlish him himself and his wife, Terry Blair, goes to contestant number 15, Marisa Buckheit. The Rosalie McAtee Non Semifinalist Interview Award in the amount of $1,500, sponsored by the Lash Family and Lash Chevrolet, goes to contestant number 24, Ashley Warhol. <laughs> the 
the Rosalie McAtee Semi-Finalist Interview Award of Distinction in the amount of $1,000, also sponsored by the Lash Family and Lash Chevrolet, goes to contestant number 15, Marisa Buckheit. Next, we would like to bring out Mark Angeli from the Miss America organization to present two special awards. Mark? Good evening, everybody. I'd like to uh, thank the Miss Ohio organization for welcoming, uh, welcoming me into their family this week. And uh, it's been such a wonderful experience for me to, to be part of this wonderful family. And uh, we're so glad to have the Miss Ohio organization part of the Miss America family as well. So I'd like to first start off by presenting the Miss America Academic Award. The $1,000 Miss America Scholar Award was established in 1998 and is offered to one woman competing on the state level for academic excellence in each of the 50 states, the District of Columbia, the United States Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. I am pleased to announce that the 20, 2010 Miss Ohio recipient of the $1,000 Miss America Academic Scholarship is Stephanie Belts. Next, the Miss America Community, Scholar, uh, Community Service Award. The $1,000 Miss America Community Service Award was also established in 1998 and is offered to one woman competing on the state level who demonstrates exemplary community service initiatives in each state, the District of Columbia, the United States Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. They are asked to describe their involvement with Miss America's national platform, Children's Miracle Network, as well as their own personal platform or community service project. The recipient must demonstrate that she has fulfilled a legitimate need in her community through the creation, development, and or participation in a community service project. I am pleased to announce that the 2010 Miss Ohio recipient of the $1,000 Miss America Community Service Scholarship is Ellen Bryan. Gentlemen, we now move closer to crowning Miss Ohio 2010. Ladies, will you please join me downstage? Come on, girls. <laughs> Here we go. Ladies, give them a round of applause. What a great group of girls. Okay. Your fourth runner-up will receive a $1,500 scholarship sponsored by McDonald's and Key Bank. Your fourth runner-up is contestant number eight, Nancy Ann Strohsnyder. Our third runner-up will receive a $2,500 scholarship sponsored by the Mansfield Noon Optimus. Your third runner-up is contestant number 22, Ellen Bryan. At this time, we would like to welcome to the stage Roger Dunn, representing the Mansfield Elks. Roger? The Mansfield Elks Lodge, 56, is happy to be a partner of the Miss Ohio program. On their behalf, I am proud to make the presentation of a $3,500 scholarship to the second runner-up. Your second runner-up is contestant number 15, Marisa Buckheit. Primrose Retirement Community. 
lighten the mood a little. The Ohio Elks Association is happy to continue our partnership with the Miss Ohio program and proud to contribute to the grassroots and runner-up scholarships. Elks are dedicated to youth and provide scholarships nationwide. It is an honor to be a partner in the presentation of a $4,500 scholarship to the first runner-up. Thank you. Now we would like to welcome Doug Terman from Newman Technology. <laughs> Doug? Okay, go ahead, Doug. On behalf of Newman Technology, I'd like to express great pleasure being able to support the tradition of the Miss Ohio Scholarship Pageant, and it gives us even greater pleasure to provide for Miss Ohio 2010 a $10,000 scholarship. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, your first runner-up is contestant number 12, Shannon